Hi guys, uh, for those of you who are sailing on ships today, I thought I'll show you something different. Uh, this may not pertain to your studies, but uh, why not discuss something different for a change. So what I wanted to show you here is, uh, again this, this chart is not in a very good condition, but I had it with me and I thought I should share it with you guys as well. It's good for your learning. Uh, what this chart is called is as the MacArthur's uh, Universal Corrective Map of the World. And uh, what this uh, guy did was he actually depicted the world from the perspective of the Southern Hemisphere. So if you normally see other charts or other maps or atlases, it's always from the perspective of the North Hemisphere, where everything in the North Hemisphere comes on top of the chart and everything in the Southern Hemisphere comes towards the bottom of the chart. But what uh, MacArthur did was uh, he designed the chart in such a way that uh, he took the perspective or he considered the perspective of the southern hemisphere and put the countries of the southern hemisphere on the top here uh, showing south on top north at the bottom east and west uh, uh, separately as well so you can see uh, i mean if you don't i don't know whether you can read this or not but uh, here it says that at last the first move has been made the first step in the long overdue crusade to elevate our glorious but neglected nation which they're talking about australia here from the gloomy depths of anonymity in the world power uh, struggle to the rightful position, towering over its northern neighbors, reigning splendidly at the helm of the universe. So they are saying that is because the Australia, New Zealand, the countries which are normally considered as southern hemisphere countries are now today, if you look at it from this perspective, it is on top of the world. So never again to suffer the perpetual onslaught of down under jokes uh, as you know, Australia and New Zealand, they are subjected to a lot of down under jokes. Implications from northern nations that the height of a country's prestige is determined by its equivalent spatial location on a conventional map of the world. This map is a subtle but definite first step correcting the situation. No longer will the south wallow in a pit of insignificance carrying the north on its shoulders for little or no recognition of her efforts. Finally, the south emerges on top. So spread the word, spread the map, South is superior, South dominates, long live Australia, ruler of the universe. So I know that this has nothing to do with your studies, but uh, why I showed you this map is because uh, this gives you a different perspective of looking at the world. Uh, this is something that we don't consider because how we have been drilled, how we have been trained to look at the map and the world, uh, it has been drilled into our system that we always look at it from the Northern Hemisphere's perspective. But I thought today I'll show you something different uh, because if you look at the world like this now, you will see how it all looks different. It changes your perspective. It's like a position, it's like a yoga pose. If they turn you around in a yoga pose, this is how you would view the world. So um, uh, this is how you look at the world. So I thought I'll show this to you how different countries, it changes the perspective completely. Uh, and this is also a valid perspective. So it helps you to learn better. Uh, otherwise you always think about it from a North Hemisphere's perspective, but this is a valid perspective as well. So if you look at it, you can see the countries remain the same, the maps are the same, but how the, uh, the, the shapes of the continents and all start to look different uh, when you view it from the other side. So this is something just for fun. I'm sharing it. It's related to uh, some kind of navigation here. It's related to map work, something that uh, us mariners uh, we do and we are involved in. Of course, other people who are watching this video who are not mariners can also not think about it from a different perspective. Uh, credit goes to Mr. MacArthur who came up with this map and uh, I really like this map. Uh, it, it gave me a very different perspective, honestly, and I wanted to share it with you. And uh, I hope you go and find this map out on Google and you might uh, have a better look at it. So for now, and I'm signing off. All the best guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.